Dr. J, there are many conditions that lead to high calcium in the urine. Um, how, what do you suggest? Uh, how do we lower that? Well, we have to think about minerals, not just calcium. Then we have to think about mineral balance, which has to do with metabolic acids. If you're producing more metabolic acid, your kidneys need to excrete that extra acid so that they don't get harmed. And so your liver and spleen and the rest of your body and muscles and bones and joints don't get harmed. If you look at the physiology, if you look at the biochemistry, if you don't just look at calcium in isolation, what you find is that the amount of magnesium and choline citrate that you take in neutralizes the metabolic acids so well that your calcium loss goes down. Isn't that interesting? You take in more magnesium and the urine calcium goes down. That was shown by Fred Barter at least 25 years ago, although it's just now coming into awareness in general. The reason I'm smiling is I actually met Fred Barter and was inspired by him. Mm -hmm. And he's the one who showed that if you really want to tame calcium in the urine, you have to increase magnesium and reduce the metabolic acids. So simple, so straightforward, but it's living with modern biochemistry and physiology, not thinking about pathology. So it's not just about calcium, it's about calcium loss induced by extra acids. And when magnesium is there to neutralize the acids, you don't need to lose the calcium in the urine.